If I want to be a good husband, really, really want to be a good husband, I'm going to mess everything up. I agree. Right? The harder I try, the worse it's going to get. People do it with their kids is the best example. These people that try so hard with their kids, I tell them, Messing stop up. trying. Leave these people alone. If you want to make those kids have the least amount of dysfunctions, you'll get the hell out of their life immediately. You're the biggest cause of the problem. Right. So if you want to be a good husband, if you're worried about whether you're a good husband, you're going you're gonna to fail. So relax. Let it go. Stop worrying. Just ask your wife what she would like to do and do it. But if you ignore her because you relaxed, that's the end of the marriage. Fair enough. So, of course, you have to relax your own ambition, your own ego, your own. But what does that do? It makes you available to her. I'm down with that. That's fine. So here's what I'm saying about God and life. And of course, you should relax and have faith and stop worrying about whether you're going to die. That will release you so that you can do for God what He wants. And for whatever reason He wants it. Interestingly enough, the more synchronicity happens and, and you just naturally do. Again, it's back to the paradox. Stop trying so hard and you're going to just naturally do what you were intended to do effortlessly in the first place. Right. And we happen, but there was nothing wrong with the prior part. And we happen to know what that intended action is, which you will do if you relax. You'll put on film. You just missed the whole point. Really? That's, that's where you're going with this whole thing? Yeah. That's very weak. Put on film seriously? Yeah. Why? Because he likes it. You made that whole story up. You made up an entire story about the film. How Listen, did you, you get to that? You, you, I could, yeah, we I could both get have behind no being nice to your wife, but I mean, seriously, the film, seriously? Why? Being nice to God doesn't make sense? I don't think God needs me to put on the film to be nice to him. If he created you. I think he's a lot, he feels a lot, if he did feel this way, which I don't think he's you're in a total wrong construct, but if you want to play this construct game, this is much more important than putting on the film. What is this? What we're t talking about right now. Because it'll get us to put on film. No. It'll get us to be there for him. Doesn't need an infinite being who created everything doesn't need you to put on film. Seriously? Are you, are you sure about that? Uh, look, I'm just as sure as you are that he does. I'm just as sure that, that he doesn't need it as much sure as you are that he does. You, you believe some story that you don't even know how you believe it because it was all from outside constructs. I mean, I don't really see that as very uh, good proof. At it all. just happens to make a lot more sense. No, it doesn't. It makes sense to you. Because you were created a certain way, toilet trained a certain way, no. and that's why it makes sense to that you. God w that God... God wanted you wants to fill. If that was really so important... Does he want something? Let's, let's go that down to... Fine, no. not villain. No. What he does he want? Want is such a s ridiculous word for an infinite thing. That turns into a table. Yeah. Why would he turn into a want. table? We're, 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 we're to the I don't know place. Just like you say I don't know. So you're saying... We're to the I don't know place. So you don't know what he wants. I don't even think wants is a word that makes sense in the construct, but certainly, yes, I don't know. Okay. So you're not saying he doesn't want, you just don't know what he wants. I don't even know if he wants, if, even if that is something that even makes sense in discussing him. So clearly I don't know what he wants. Clearly. Okay. I, I think he's outside the whole construct of want or not want. He but, just is. But he did all this. He is all this. Not he did all this. Does he, he is all this. Does he have a purpose? <sighs> yes, this. This table is his purpose. So, so he does have a purpose. If you define the word purpose, but not the way you define the word purpose. You define the word purpose as like this. It gets into this avoiding this and doing this. And blah, blah, blah. No. It is. What is, is the purpose. What is, is the purpose. I know it's not going to be so, you know, glorious with the violins and people No, it's just a contradiction. Overcoming. No. It's a contradiction. Why is it contradiction? What is, is not a purpose. Purpose means what That's why a the thing is. purpose doesn't make any sense. Okay, so does he have a purpose? The, not the way you talk about it, no. 
so he just is. There's yeah. no there's no point. It's we're not, not going anywhere. We're not mm-hmm. coming. It's it's the same story as why he wants you to, you know, do whatever you said. You said I don't know. That was honest. You said I don't know, and that's the truth. At the bottom of all of this discussion is I don't know, and we're not gonna know. No. Yes. We don't know why. What did why. you say? I don't know. Right. We don't know why. But I would go one step further and say. I don't even know what. You are happy with I don't know why. I am going a little deeper and saying I don't even know what. That's how unknowable it is. You think you're a little smarter than this whole infinite thing. You've got it all figured out up to the point of the why. I'm just trying to be a little, in my opinion, honest about it and say, come on. This is a table. It's not a table. Oh, come on. We're, it's a ridiculous talk. We don't know what's going on here. This is a, a giant mystery. We popped into existence out of one cell that kept splitting, and all of a sudden, one day, the lights went on. Come on. Now you know what you're supposed to be doing. Because, you know, send the newspaper, okay? It's real simple. Send an email. What everybody wants, God wants you to do. Today, subject line, this is what God wants. Everybody who knows, it's all fine. Everybody's got an email. You're great. If that was really what was going on. That's pretty much the truth. No, it is. 90% of the world... don't even know about Torah. Right. You say Torah is evil. And yet, 90% of the world knows that God wants them to not steal or murder. That's how you know it's wrong. Really? Yes. Most people are wrong about everything. Hmm. Just like 99% of the people who are Orthodox Jews don't even understand Orthodox Judaism, according to you. The fact that they all agree... In fact, I'll go you one further. 99.9% of them think there's free will... And me and you know that that's not true. And they define it as free choice the way you think that me and you know is totally nonsense. 99.9% of the world agrees that. In fact, when you tell people, by the way, you don't have free choice. The only reason you're doing what you're doing is because of all the influences that happen to you. They get very, very upset with that. Most, a lot of them, right? They feel ego threatened, right? And they go, what, what are you talking about? Are you crazy? So you're having a hard time you, with people missing the entire point? You're not. You're the, you're the king of that. You're the guy who comes to tell everybody what they're doing wrong. But you said send out an email to tell everybody what God wants. Everybody knows what God wants. I don't have to tell them. I disagree. Really? Yeah, I totally disagree. I think everyone is doing what God wants because they're doing it. That's the proof of it. That's the proof of it. God what? wants the suicide bomber to do suicide bombing. That's what you think. And yeah. most people in the world think there are Ten Commandments, no? Yeah, they could, most people are wrong about everything. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not asking whether they're right or wrong. You said get, get people to know. I'm saying they already know. First of all, the Western world, yes, believes in the desert religions, but the Eastern world had no knowledge of all this nonsense. In fact, they're a lot closer to the way I believe, in like a Buddhist sense, of no right or wrong at all and just is like, not really yeah, there's Buddhism's enlightened and there's not enlightened okay but so that's their story you know they, they, <laughs> they fall back into the same <clears throat> nonsense that you do too uh-huh. but it's still it's still much closer to you know a different story amoral yeah right which right you're not into that well that's that's they're, they're more of a philosophy than a religion exactly so here's the difference between us we know. all know that God created the world. No, God is that he is the world. He's the world. He's in everything. I think he has a purpose. You think he doesn't. That's it. No, I just don't know what, what, how I would define the word purpose in that construct. Purpose means the world as it is is not the end. It's leading to a conclusion. Uh, in other words, there's a purpose for it being. And it's not... No, I think everything that happens is perfect and it is the purpose of it. Just because you don't see it as the purpose doesn't mean it doesn't have a purpose. It has a purpose. You'll know when it's time for you to know. So you, so you think there is a purpose? The way you define the word purpose. So, so say it the way you want it. I think everything is perfect the way it is. And it doesn't need a purpose. That's, that, that would be the logical conclusion. It is the purpose. The purpose is just to exist. The existence and consciousness itself is the purpose. Meaning, you, the whole point was to go to the amusement park and experience all the rides. And here in the experience world, we experience sadness as one ride, humor is another ride, this is another ride, 
Eating is another ride. All the rides. It's all an amazing amusement park. And that was the purpose. The gift was the purpose itself. The gift itself was the purpose with all the bad, what you call bad, all the good, what you call good. That was the purpose, to have this unbelievable experience was the purpose itself. It doesn't need an outside purpose. Like in the game, you're supposed to do this and that was the purpose. No, the thing itself was the purpose. The right way to say that is that there is no purpose okay, and there's no need. Okay, you want to call it that. There's you no, want, you want this to is that. God. Yeah. So, so. I agree. So it doesn't need a purpose. It's going to do what it's going to do. Just like your neshama controls the show. It's going to do what it's going to do. And don't worry about it. And the way you define purpose, it, it, that has nothing to do with what's going on here. Okay, so you're saying there's no purpose. In your definition of purpose, yes. Okay, so that's the difference between us. I know, my mom says the same thing all the time. I have this discussion with her all the time. But yeah, there's no purpose? She says it all the time. Maybe the purpose just is the gift. The gift itself is the purpose. You were given something. That itself is... A, so when somebody gives you a gift, they don't say, oh, wait, what's the purpose of this gift? Um, what am I supposed to do with this gift? I, I don't know. Uh, am I supposed to smush it up? What am I supposed to do? No. If you I don't just enjoy, enjoy <laughs> the gift. No, just you the, don't. I, I try no, to you give. No, you don't. What are you talking about? If somebody gives you a car and you don't know how to drive or what, what to do with a car. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I don't sit and go, ah, oh, I got a gift here. Now, what am I supposed to do with it to really do the right thing with the gift? No, I don't get into that whole narish guy. I just enjoy the show. Whatever it is that makes you enjoy the show is the purpose of the whole story. And if you're really being honest about and really seeing the amazement of the fact that there's even something called the table right here, you would really be enjoying all of it, including good, good and bad, including the idea you even think that there's a purpose in the first place, which is another beautiful self-construct that totally you know, clouds the whole idea because you're enjoying that purpose of this show because you're in the roller coaster part where uh, you think you understand, but meanwhile, it's about to hit you. You're going down like that. It's going to be a whole but other You see story. the contradiction in what you're saying? No. Just like you're saying everything is perfect. You're saying everything is perfect, except everybody is stupid, and they think they know something, and they're looking for something. There are no other people. These whole things are just... Listen, listen. Yeah. the contradiction is that you say everything is perfect, and yet nobody gets it. Everybody thinks there's a purpose. No, no wrong. Why is no wrong? There's no other people. There's me. I'm the only thing that's here, and I'm God. And he, in part of His show, He created all these people who wouldn't get it because He wanted me to really enjoy the ride. And He knows the way I would enjoy the ride the most is if I was the one who got it and they didn't get it. It's not bad or good. It's just He knew that's what that would be a fun way. Just like it's a fun way for you to play the game where you're the only Orthodox guy who really understands Orthodoxy. And you expound on that and like to do that game. That's enjoyable for you. You like the idea of that. That you're going to explain things that the most 99% of the Orthodox people don't get. You like playing that game. But in your picture of everything in the world is perfect, mm -hmm. my game is perfect. It is. So people who don't get it are perfect. Absolutely. So what are you upset with them for? I'm not upset with them at all. You sounded very upset. No, no, no. Then you're totally missing me on that. I think people like you, who I think totally miss the point, are perfect. A hundred percent. So why is it missing the point? It is the point. It's, it's missing the point the way I see it. Wow, well, you're wrong. Okay, according to you, that's fine. You're why don't you think... Game. No. If everything is as it should be... It is. Then what's wrong with people who think there's right and wrong? Nothing. That's as it should Nothing. be. Nothing. You're right. So there is right and wrong. No. The fact that there's people that believe in right and wrong is fine with me. Because that's how it's supposed to be. Right. So? I have no problem with that. The fact that you believe in right and wrong is not bothering me. I don't need to convince you of anything. I'm just having a nice time discussing this with you. But I don't, I'm not trying to make you believe my story. No, but you think I'm wrong. I, I think you're wrong, certainly, in the way I look at the world. But you look at the world as everything is perfect. Right. So it's, how? it's it's perfect that you're wrong. Oh, I see. There's even that again. So there is right and wrong, but that's okay. It's okay. It's it's not that you're okay. I see what you're saying. It's not that you're wrong. 
it's the way I perceive it as being more accurate, right? And you seeing it as not as accurate is fine. It's not that you're you're wrong. This is what you're supposed to be seeing, and this is what I'm supposed to be seeing, and we're both enjoying this to the nth degree, exactly the way it was supposed to be. I, I don't have a problem with people not agreeing with me, nor do I have a problem with people wanting to be suicide bombers. Let them go, have a great time. ISIS, cut off people's heads. I'm totally fine, but it doesn't affect me, and it doesn't affect anybody who's really supposed to die. If you're not supposed to die, they can't kill you. Just like the Lubavitcher Rebbe wasn't worried when the guy said to him, hey, um, we're gonna kill you. And the guy said, listen, the problem is, you believe in multiple gods and one world, or I believe in multiple worlds and one god, whatever. He wasn't scared. He didn't care, right? Same thing. I'm not worried about it. You wanna kill me? Fine, kill me. Mm -hmm. You don't wanna kill me? Don't kill me. But those people who don't agree with you are wrong. They're living in illusion. The way I You're the one who sees I see it. I see it supposedly more accurate. That's the way I see it. Just because they don't agree with me, it's fine. So don't agree with me. That's fine. But, but you're not accepting not more, everything as perfect. Uh, you're saying no, some saying things are even not. There's perfection in the fact that other people are supposedly not seeing it the way I'm seeing it the accurate way. By the way, it's possible I'm seeing it totally wrong and you're totally right. That's possible. I don't, I don't think that's true, but it's possible. But in your philosophy, it has to be possible. Yeah, I would agree. It has to be possible. It's part of your philosophy. Right. That it, you might be wrong. 100%. But that in itself wouldn't even be wrong. Hmm. You see, in, a, in itself, the thing that's, the fact that I would be wrong wouldn't be wrong, really. It would just be part of the show. It wouldn't be more accurate. But, I mean, I think it's very clear that what's the true essence of what's going on here is never going to be revealed, at least not anytime soon. Unless it is the Torah. Okay. Or maybe it'll be an email that everyone gets tomorrow. By the way, this Torah thing, huh, don't disregard. By the way, in, in your Adam and Chava story, it's fantastic. You still never got back to why not listening to God is not the wrong thing. When he says, don't do adultery, just like he said, don't eat from the apple, maybe he wants you to do adultery. He told you, don't eat from the apple. Don't, eat, don't do adultery. Maybe you should do adultery. You said... When you did the other thing, okay, so you die, okay, so whatever your question. <clears throat> no? Paradox. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pleasure. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it.